and their wins, as you'd imagine, taking care of the football a lot better, winning the turnover battle with a plus five. Bechet, deep over the middle, pass is complete. Big pick up to Ross Lane. Bechet drops back, Sutton wide open in the right flat. Still on his feet, and finally brought down inside the 20. Amato Villarreal comes on for a 29-yard field goal attempt. And the kick is true. They've already played a couple overtime games this season. Inside run, Sutton, his biggest gain of the day. Still on his feet, inside the 20, down at the 16-yard line. So Ben Chappell is now the quarterback on a third down and six. Redshirt freshman from Bloomington throws an interception. Oh, this is a change of events. Sudden change is going to equal a touchdown. Eddie Simpson with the pick six for Northwestern. Became the all-time leader in catches. He already was the all-time leader in touchdown catches in his career. Nothing doing, Kellen Lewis. The shade. Goes deep over the middle, and it's caught. Ross Lane with his biggest grab of the day, down to the 15-yard line. C.J. Bechet breaks the huddle with Northwestern. They're quickly at the line of scrimmage, and they quickly snap it, give it to Tyrell Sutton, and it works. It's a touchdown for Northwestern. Indiana, they've got a tough, interesting game against Purdue. Third down, pass is complete. Third down and five. Bechet rolls to his right. Sees a man cross his body, and it's complete. Thompson, his second catch of this drive. Two backs in the backfield. Roberson and Sutton alongside Bechet. Oh, a little Statue of Liberty play. Roberson wants to throw it. Man wide open. It is caught. A touchdown. Kim Thompson off the ricochet. Tracy Porter had a finger on it, but Thompson hangs on. Actually, on the last touchdown for Northwestern, remember it was Porter who tipped the football, but it was still caught for a touchdown by Thompson. This time he gets back. Bechet steps up. Oh, great catch. It's Sutton on the backfield, leaping over Austin Thomas. Indiana, they have not had much success against Northwestern in recent years, but they do have a four-point lead with three and a half to play. Sutton with another carry. He goes over the 200-yard mark of total offense, and he gets another first down. Clock continues to move. Bechet this time wants to throw. Man wide open, and the catch is made by Ross Lane at the 22-yard line. Another big play for Northwestern. Exactly. They definitely have to have a touchdown. And we've, we've seen them. They, they stuttered as they got it. Uh, this, there you go. You know, this is the kind of way they need in order to get the touchdown. They're down by four, second and seven. They need to win today to become bowl eligible. C.J. Bechet wants to run some option. Keeps it. Bechet is brought down at the four-yard line. Austin Thomas. A field goal does Northwestern no good. They need a touchdown at this point in the game. Bechet back in the end zone. It's a touchdown. Ross Lane with the catch. So after the timeout, Indiana breaks the huddle. And here we go. 22 ticks remaining. Indiana, they still have a timeout already. They're on the, the outskirts of field goal range for Austin Starr. This would be a 52-yarder where the ball is marked. Lewis swarmed. Ball is loose. They're calling it a fumble. And they're calling it a fumble. Northwestern, they have the football. So this will do it. Bechet takes a knee, and that is it. Northwestern, they become bowl eligible.